Broccoli Guy rules! I made a custom trap for Skylanders to hold Broccoli Guy. Six years ago I did the same for Grenade. It's about time I made some more. These are working traps that you can use with the game. I'll show you how I 3D modeled it in Maya and ZBrush, 3D printed, painted it, and how to take apart a trap to make your own. I even put all the files online for free so you can do it too. But first, if you like this type of content, please show it by subscribing. I'm trying to build up more return viewers. Okay, let's get to it. I built the base model in Maya. I like to build out basic shapes that I can later sculpt in ZBrush. You can see that I added an image of Broccoli Guy on the screen so I could use that as reference. At this stage, it's mostly about getting the proportions and the silhouette down. I also need to sort out the scale of the character here. I'm doing a lot of layering of different objects to get this kind of leaf skirt thing going. And here you can see I'm applying that bottom piece to fit the trap. Now here in ZBrush, I'm doing some extra details. This is a sculpting software. It's more capable of building the whole thing. I'm just more familiar with Maya, so that's why I start in one program and then move to another. I exaggerate all the details in my 3D prints because at this scale, small details can get lost in the final product. It was really fun to get all the broccoli top details of his hair. Next I sliced the model in Cheetah Box to print on my Elegoo Saturn. This is a resin printer and it requires cleaning and curing afterward. It gives great detail but can be a bit of a mess. I started with a grave Alejo primer to make sure that the paint would stick to the surface. Then I did some layering of a dark and light green, starting very dark. It looks nearly black. This helps a lot to give depth in the crevices of the model, especially once I have all my lighter layers. For the body, I went with a lighter green D&D brand acrylic. Next, some yellow in the eyes really helped the face stand out. All these paints were thinned down with water, but the final steps are a dry brush of just a little bit of paint bring out all the details. And after all the paint is done, I go over it with a flat clear protective spray coat. The only life traps I happen to have are special edition E3 2014, so I had to buy a new trap from Amazon. I'm going to use my Dremel with this cutting attachment. I'm wearing my safety goggles. I always wear my safety goggles with this because this can fly apart into many pieces. What about me? Uh, I only have the one set. Only one set, so just look away. All right. After some cleaning up of the plastic, I super glued the base trap into the figure. Then it was time to test it in the game. First I wanted to see if anyone had already caught a villain in the trap. Sheep creep is cool, but let's load up Broccoli Guy! Broccoli Guy! Broccoli Guy rules! <laughs> hey, Brock's ready to rock! I need 
fight Broccoli Guy with Broccoli Guy. Broccoli Guy. Broccoli Guy rules! Yeah. Broccoli versus Broccoli. I'm glad I finally got around to making another trap. Let me know if I should make more. And thanks for watching.